How you doing? I'm Colin McCormick. I'm 21 years old. I uh, work as a professional close-up magician and sleight of hand guy. So when I was seven, a guy came over to the house who was my dad's friend, this guy Porrick. Among all of his crazy talents, he had all these crazy skills and jokes and talents, he was able to do some card tricks. And he showed me this trick where uh, he just put the cards down and he said, Colin, black or red? And then at the end, he revealed that every time I said black, I just had a good reaction, I said black. He flipped them all over, there was all the black cards here and all the red cards here. My brain was in a blender. I hadn't the slightest clue how he did it. If I had to pinpoint a moment where I said magic is for me and that's what I want to do, it was that moment. I don't live off just learning all of this. It's actually people's reactions is what I live off. Because if someone's having a bad day, I could do this one small thing and it'll make them smile and it'll give them a sense of wonder, childlike wonder. They'll feel like they're two years old again and Santa's just come. Giving someone that one moment to experience this is, I think, what everyone needs to make them feel happy, you know what I mean? And if they see something that they think is genuinely impossible, they can then kind of walk away and think, well, nothing's really impossible. If he can do that, what else could I do with this, with anything else that they were doing in their daily lives? Like showing someone that in the, at the end of the day, it's just card tricks, it's just sleight of hand. They still have something in the back of their head that's like, yeah, but I still don't know how he did this, or I don't know what this made. That doesn't make sense. And if something doesn't make sense, then I kind of did my job right. Um, Roald Dahl once said, the best secrets are hidden in the most unlikely places, and those who don't believe in magic will never find it. <laughs>